Today we go over new details of Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the sequel trilogy. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, in just under two weeks from today, principal photography will start for Episode 9, which is being directed by J.J. Abrams, and a lot of fans around the world are really wondering exactly what will J.J. do with some of the characters that are indeed returning in this movie. Now, today I wanted to go over some new details involving a scene with Oscar Isaac and even John Boyega in Episode 9 that could very well connect to the big plot leak that we went over and that everybody was talking about a couple of months ago. Now, as you already know, the first confirmed location for Episode 9 is over in Cardington. Cardington in the UK, specifically over in the sheds at Cardington Studios, the same exact location that they used for Star Wars Rogue One and Star Wars A New Hope for the Yavin 4 Great Temple base. Now, what's interesting about all of this is that both Oscar Isaac and John Boyega will be working at Pinewood in mid-August for a small three day shoot for a scene involving stuntmen and extras dressed in alien costumes. It's described as a shootout scene involving the First Order and will require a double for John in some sequences. No signs of Kelly Tran for the shoot as of right now. Now the thing that comes to my mind first here is that well, could this very well be a big connection to the plot leak that we went over a couple of months ago and that everybody was talking about where you have the First Order invasion and Rada, who is the son of Jabba the Hutt. Now, we do know that both John Boyega and Oscar Isaac will be engaging in, of course, a bar scene in Star Wars Episode 9, all thanks to MakingStarWars.net as we went over, I believe it was just yesterday. Now, I think that that bar scene could very well have a connection to this scene, since this part of the scene is only going to be a three-day shoot over in the UK, specifically Pinewood Studios. I think that this has a connection quite possibly with the big plot leak involving Rada, the son of Jabba the Hutt. And I can see why J.J. Abrams would implement Rada because that in itself is sort of a parallel to that of Return of the Jedi, having the Hutt you know, having the huts come into play in the final film of the sequel trilogy. Now, I don't know if you guys feel, you know, good or bad about that, if JJ is indeed to implement, you know, Jabba the Hutt's son, Rada, who, by the way, is a canon character from Star Wars The Clone Wars, and it would somewhat make sense, because we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm their big plan is to implement as much Clone Wars and Rebels material in the Star Wars live action movies and live action TV series. They actually started off with Solo A Star Wars Story mainly by using the Pike Syndicate and Quay Tull site on the planet Kessel. And guys, I gotta say, did they look amazing. You know, if you look at the Clone Wars and then if you look at St Solo A Star Wars Story, you can really see how much of a great job they did on those characters. So episode 9, I think that Rada coming into the mix, as long as they change things up and it's really not just a direct copy to that of the sail barge sequence or, you know, Jabba's palace shootout or something around those lines, if it's not a direct copy, that's A-OK -okay with me. But as far as this scene involving both Poe Dameron and Finn, there's no sign of Kelly Tran shooting here over in the UK at Pinewood for this scene with both John and, of course, Oscar. So I think that this could very well be one of the adventures that connects to the concept art descriptions that a lot of people went over about a month and a half ago involving both Poe and Finn in, of course, the corridors of a certain building seeking out somebody with a couple of weapons. And I think that this all has to do with the shootout sequence with the First Order. Now, that's another thing to really, you know, think about is exactly what are the stakes of the galaxy right now? You know, how powerful is the First Order? How powerful is the Resistance? And how close are they to becoming the New Rebellion if they aren't already the New Rebellion? Because as Luke Skywalker said at the very end of The Last Jedi, the Rebellion is reborn today. So are they going to call themselves the Resistance or are they going to call themselves the Rebellion? Is a very interesting question open on the table for discussion. Now, I will say this, that I'm really happy to hear that Finn and Poe will have more screen time together more. 
those two actors, I feel like that they, they work very well together on screen, both Oscar Isaac and, you know, John Boyega. I think that's what they should have done with Canto Bite, as originally intended before Ryan Johnson brought in the character of Rose. And I felt like it was a little out of place to separate those two characters. Poe Dameron, for me, in The Last Jedi, after, you know, the big Dakar evacuation scene, I feel like he just didn't do too much. It was pretty much him just walking on the radish ship and taking orders from Holdo and trying to escape Holdo's plan, etc. So I really do hope that Poe Dameron does get a lot of justice in this movie and does something crazy. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.